Why does that scoundrel named Weasel stare at me so? Ha! Don't make me laugh. A puny man like that is of no concern to me. Though I must admit, his stare is rather unnerving. Even to one such as I, who have endured the horrid sights of countless battlefields. Sit and drink with me! <laughs> Isn't that Valkyrie something? Maybe I should, you know, go over there and introduce myself? Hey, uh, could you, uh, go talk to Valkyrie and, you know, see if she's interested in getting to know me a little better? Oh, please. If there's one thing I know, it's women. I've got, like, a sixth sense. And I'm thinking Valkyrie's got her eye on me. Your friend Weasel continues to stare at me. Interested. Romantically? Please. I just ate. This is absurd. How could a toad like that even think he is worthy of the affections of the great Valkyrie? I assume you are joking. I would sooner stick both hands in the mouth of Fenris as talk to that pasty-faced human. Nay, I say to you, he smells of greasy food and breathes through his mouth. I bid thee good day, human. I remember you. Weren't we on that one mission where we did that one thing against that one guy and we won? Oh yeah, me and Weasel go way back. I saved him from a life of drudgery, working at some high-paying job. Thanks to me, he's now hiding out in rat holes and dodging bullets as a mercenary of the Information Highway. Tell me about it. I mean, who needs a cushy job and security when you can have adventure and the promise of a short life? He's like the ultimate Boy Scout. Unless, of course, money's involved. He'd sell his grandma's walking cane for a buck. As a matter of fact, I bought his grandma's walking cane for a buck. Oh, yeah, 100%. Maybe. A bit. No. He's probably making it all up. Ooh. Want to hear me play the 1812 Overture with my armpit?